So hi everyone, welcome to you all in my another video. And today with us, Sanju Matthew is a pharmacist from India. So he uh, recently passed uh, the CAPS exam, but academically, he is one of our student in our last batch. I mean this uh, November batch. So sorry, he is in March batch, not November, but the last last one. So you know, so we'll see you know his journey. So as you see, as you can see, like you know, a lot of people will think that. You have a long gap, so you cannot pass the exam. For example, you have like 10 year gap, 12 year gap, 15 year study gap. You thought that I'm everything is forget, I cannot pass the exam. This pass is the exam is very, very tough. So we'll see, see you how many hours he study, what is his strategy is to pass this CAPS exam within three months. He passed this exam basically. So right now he is in Oman working there as a pharmacist. And and write this exam from there, but he's an Indian uh, guy. So hi, Siju, how are you? I'm fine. What about you, sir? I'm good. Thank you so much. So, Siju, can you please give us your your brief introduction about yourself and what you are doing? You know, all those things. Okay, fine. My name is Siju Davis K. I am from Kerala in India. Uh, I basically am coming here in Oman around ten years before. Uh, 2013 I'm coming and till as a mus retail pharmacist under Muscat Pharmacy. Yeah, as a pharmacist, so I'm we had last 10 years working in Oman. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. Okay. So, uh, you did your B firm or M firm? What is the qualification? Uh, B firm diploma is there and B firm is there and M firm. All okay, diploma in... DBM, I mean, all three degrees he did uh, in uh, India. Okay. Yes. So, Siju, why you choose to basically, I know, to write the caps or there any other country you were looking? So what was the reason you thought that Australia can be good for you? Uh, comparatively, the visa processing, everything is better in Australia compared to along with academically and also helping. And also, uh, if you are looking through Canada, the climate condition also, we need to check them. For example, if you are coming to uh, Canada, if you are going to plan Canada, it's like that. If you are in the family with the babies, everything is all young children, they can't survive in there. But if you are looking through Australia, far, far better. Uh, comparatively, in Indian climate uh, like that, they have feeling each and every person. So I am choosing Australia is far, far better than other countries like Canada, like that. Basically, there are three advantages to migrate to Australia. First is the climate is like India. So you will never yes. feel you are out of India, you know. So it's like, you know, all the, all the weathers, we have like similar things like India. Canada is very, very cold. Sometimes like uh, like five, six months, there's a always like, you know, very, very freezing. So like no. minus 10, minus, minus, minus 8, the temperature. So it's not suitable mm -hmm. for everyone. And secondary, yes. the visa process is very easy for Australia. You just need to pass one exam, online exam. Yes. This is a yeah, MCQ based exam. Once pass the exam, you can file your PR with a permanent visa. You yes. can migrate with your family easily. Correct. And Correct. and third advantage to migrate to Australia, I, 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 I personally feel, you know, uh, the exam is very, very easy. So the Canada exam is very tough. That is 60% yes, is the passing mark. Australia have a 50% passing mark. So you can choose the Australia over the Canada, but is 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 your choice. Uh, this is our own. Uh, so Siju, uh, yes. Then, you know, uh, you was looking, you know, uh, so long time. Uh, I discussed with you a few times earlier before you joined. There are so many other academies also, you know, why you choose academically for, for coaching? Is there any reason or something? Because you did a lot of research, of course, as a, as a student. And you are from Kerala and Kerala has, has uh, several coaching centers, basically. Yes, yes. I am uh, contact with them also, but they are a long gap, six month gap for uh, preparation of caps and also the investment also too much around the two lakh yesterday i also talked with one of the lady in there one of my junior friend she talked with that agency she's they are telling that two and a half lakh rupees and also three months stay in their hostel only like that is planning but six months is a long gap it is tough yes. for uh, even later even, I mean, you have to even, go even. there in six months. Is money also money wise also even uh, they are in India. They are the Indian teachers. For us, we are the yes. Australian company, the Australian teachers, that's, and another important, you know, yeah. we that's also give some other guidance for you. For example, the visa, the jobs, 
internship and after the passing the caps you also need to write another exam when you are doing internship so basically academically will help you to complete your a to z process until you become a registered uh, pharmacist so this is our uh, for everyone so uh, sir yes. can you please uh, tell me to tell us your strategy how many hours you studies per day i i, I see in, in group you were very active you were helping to others as well you make some chart on some uh, you know all those things you are sharing with other students because uh, some uh, all the i'm start with the number because that's why i'm all the recorded video i listen as well as uh, the lecture class uh, regular class i also attended around 64 classes are going on in the no. november march batch out of uh, 64 around uh, most of the 60 classes i am uh, regularly attended a remaining four hour class only is missing that should be uh, or uh, through the recorded video i seen uh, and also i am attended uh, all the every days i am seen the classes around uh, uh, one three hours is the classes. I reduces the speed of the uh, class. Uh, there can be we can be easy to uh, uh, add uh, recollect all the recorded videos. Okay. And uh, uh, daily I am uh, four hours, three hours, uh, total twenty four hours. Out of twenty four hours, eight and uh, nine hours I am duty, and uh, four hours I am spent with my family. The remaining hours is there for sleeping hours. I reduce to six hours and remaining I'm doing study around uh, four uh, six, four six hours or four, four or five hours maximum. Okay, four to five hours per day uh, Sijo is a study to pass this exam in past attempt. So in any any strategies like, you know, you see the video and make your own notes. What you do actually? Only, only the handout and recorded video of academically what they are provided, it is enough for passing the examination. And uh, if you are going to uh, hand out, only they have concise form. We have the recorder, uh, the lecture, the regular lecture, we have, uh, we can listen two, three times we have listened and prepare our own note. That is a better way. Uh, we have prepared our note. Uh, make a, a for sheet and uh, mention the top lecture number one or lecture number two, lecture number three, and the date of the uh, class and uh, prepare on note. And uh, also we have prepared our own question, our own question, award academically questions, prepare our own questions himself, for example, simple, uh, uh, which artery carry the impure blood into the heart, which artery carry the pure blood into the car, like that simple question, direct question we have prepared himself. What is advantage is that end of the class, and before start, before the examination, we can't read all the lecture note as well as handout is not possible. Whatever yeah. we are preparing, our whatever we are preparing the questions, that only readable, all the things we have recollected. Academically, give a wonderful job with Arif sir and Harika madam along with uh, uh, Akram sir and with the grace of God, we are all past. No no need to worry about uh, CAX of action is more tough. Academic, academically give wonderful job and uh, handout and uh, recorded video, uh, mock test, everything is done. We have need to follow them. We have brush up uh, whatever you studied in B farm or M farm or any farm D or anything. We have brush up our brain academically they can do. We have to, we have worked hard, that's all. Yes, so basically if you work hard at least four hours like Sijo, and Sijo's age is about 40, you know, because so many of things that, sir, uh, I have a, um, my family, I have a kids, you know, and my age is this much, can I still, can, can I able to crack the exam? So this is one of the examples for you guys. Easily you can crack if you give. Basically, you have to give just for three three months. This is not like we are asking you one one okay. one year. You have to study. Three months mm -hmm. is more than enough to pass the exam. Okay, so you, if you can give like three to four hour per day, I, this hours basically are based on the individual. Some student maybe two hours is sufficient. Some need three hours. Some might need five hours. So this is the individual thing, you know, we cannot, but on average three, four hours is enough to pass the exam. And we have very concise syllabus. You just need to um, attend the live session 
and see that. So, CGO make is on node. We provide basically the study uh, material so that you can print it and you can make on node so easier for you, you know, when you are going for the exam. And exam basically last two, three weeks, we do a lot of uh, the mock test, a uh, lot of in you know, division. So, CGO, uh, do you think that, that, that our mock test will help to pass the exam? How much percentage it came in the exam? Uh, basically, um, uh, one, one to seven, all of them are in the lecture-based mock. Uh, eight, nine, ten, and uh, eleven and twelve. Out of this, I get the paper through in the mock test nine. And, uh, mock test nine so, is... I mean, uh, like, 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 like by percentage-wise, how much percentage we can say this is come from our mock test? Uh, around 70% uh, of the question from the mock test. Okay. Mock, you mock need only. basically the 50% to pass the exam. So if you're getting 60, yeah. 70, 80, 90%, definitely okay. you can crack the exam. Okay. Uh, can uh, calculation. prepared for you. They can ask from anywhere, even from like conceptual base calculation, that's what you're saying. You will definitely pass. Yes, uh, you, what, what about the calculation part? Uh, calculation part, uh, each and every CAPS examination, if, uh, for example, uh, March examination, they have mentioned about uh, paracetamol calculation. But uh, in the academically, the calculation, the, the name of the medicine is saying this only. All are same. Calculation parts are same, but the name of the medicine, uh, mm -hmm. for some time they have asking Verapamil, sometimes they have asking Sulfonamide, sometimes they can be asking Metrodazole, like that only changes. All the quantity are same, all the calculation part. Concept we need to know, each and every system, cardiovascular system, CNS, everything we need to, need to know. Only we have attended the mock test is possible. Some students, they have possible to pass the examination, but if you pass in, we have not get a self-confidence is less because if they pass or not, we have doubt. But yes. we need to know the con concept of the each and every system, even cardiovascular system, GAT, even uh, bronchial asthma, as well as the uh, CNS. We need to know the each and every system concept. Wow, they can be, or uh, they can be, all the drugs are work. Basically, the uh, academically doing uh, handout, they have mentioned only the classification something but the live classes or recorded video we have attend we have listened each and every line and words and each uh, staff Arif sir and Hari madam individually they have specifically tell each and every they have prepared for the our class for the beneficial uh, they have hardworkingly done without sleeping they have prepared around the 10 year they have prepared mock test uh, materials everything provided honestly I am with the uh, uh, I am telling uh, uh, not only me and every of the academically student, honestly, with the hand in the heart, we can tell academically the second home of our <laughs> CAPS Thank exam. Thank you so much, Siju. <laughs> uh, so, guys, you know, Siju is telling in a history. story. So, Siju, can you uh, please give us, you know, what is your last word you want to say to those are listening to us, watching to us, you know, at the end? Uh, because some of them think that this exam is very, very tough and, and impossible to crack this exam. So this is not an IS exam. This is just a pharmacy exam. If you did your pharmacy degree, uh, definitely you can pass this exam. Even this exam, I can say, is easier than GPAT, Indian GPAT. See, you also already yes, passed that exam as well. Hmm. If you, if uh, you, if you can compare GPAT to a CAS in your own opinion because you passed both exams. Yeah, uh, not tough for the GPAT. GPAT uh, only we have Sutix, uh, Cognosi, Pharmacology is required. Uh, here we have uh, paper one, uh, chemist, uh, paper one, uh, physiology, uh, pharma and pharmacology, and yeah, pharmacology and chemistry, and uh, part two, the calculation and therapeutics. But uh, the academically, they can go give me good. Uh, materials they have provided and live classes also provided. We have need to brush up our mind only. Whatever you have studied in the farm D or B farm or M farm, we have brush up our mind and they can prepare the examination. This is not a tough uh, examination compared to GPAT. It's a, compared to PEBEC exam also. Better uh, also is a good one uh, compared to really CAPS examination far, far better. 
academically give uh, good advice and good guidelines from arif sir and akram sir and uh, uh, harika madam okay thank you so much shiju to so, shiju basically is the you. age of 41 he passed the exam if you are looking to migrate to australia definitely please just start your preparation whether you come to our academically or up to you but please take the step without you know you just thinking thinking then i want to go here and there and you are not taking the action so you have to take the action you you have to i start basically you know then only you can you can go australia us canada wherever you want in your life okay uh, so you just you know say so you can do in at 41 year age so you anyone can do i can say this is a easy exam and and so you thank you so much welcome welcome thank you so much sir thank you and i will see you soon in australia and one day i will take your uh, uh, live session with me in australia i hope uh, but most okay. likely will be in regional area i am not sure you are coming to sydney <laughs> we can try yeah yeah try. thank you thank you sir thank you bye okay thank you bye